Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Nadia. And I wanted to come on today to share with you all my 13 week update. I am 13 weeks pregnant with my second child. Um, and I am feeling horrible to say the least. I have been experiencing extreme morning sickness for the entire pregnancy thus far. I'm hoping to come out of it soon because they say, you know, the first trimester is, can be the hardest. Um, and you experience a lot of morning sickness. Some women, I'm one of the lucky ones. Um, I've been throwing up a lot. I have been nauseous, sleepy, um, just fatigued. I've lost 10 pounds since my uh, beginning weight. And it's just been really, really hard to function. And I just wanted to share my journey with you all out there. Um, because when I was pregnant with my first child, my daughter, um, I came to YouTube and I watched a lot of videos just because you don't know what to expect and hoping that other people can help you. And they did, videos helped me. And, but you know, your experience is always gonna be different. So I just wanted to share mine with you all. Um, so again, I'm 13 weeks pregnant. This is my second child. It's been very, very hard. I mean, even to come and make a video uh, was tough. Um, some of the symptoms I've been having, my taste has kind of changed. And this happened with my first child as well, um, probably for the first three months. Things that I love to eat, I just, I can't stand the smell, I can't stand the taste. I love Taco Tuesday. I love, you know, shrimp and seafood, and I just cannot have that right now, and it's killing me. Um, so I love to eat. But I know that hopefully this too shall pass, and again, with my last pregnancy, it kind of leveled out. I've been sleeping all day, all night. It's just I can't get enough sleep. It's almost to try to get away and escape the, the nauseous feeling and the vomiting, um, but... It's just something you gotta push through with um, when you're one of those women who experience morning sickness or all day sickness. Um, I feel my body stretching, my uterus. Um, I'm having back aches. It's really, really hard to sleep at night or any time. And um, though I don't physically see it on the outside, I feel I feel the pains everywhere. I mean, there's so many hormones changing within us as we grow in our pregnancies it's just it can take a toll on you but again i'm coming towards the end of my first trimester so i'm hoping that you know this too shall pass and the second trimester will be a lot easier i just had my second ob appointment where they um just check the baby's heartbeat make sure everything was okay and then I had my first perinatal appointment where they measure um, like the baby's neck and they, they prick your finger, check you for um, abnormal chromosomes. Uh, so that's very important before the baby turns 15 weeks that you do the perinatal test. So, so far, so good. Uh, the baby's healthy. The baby's heartbeat is strong, growing in there. Don't know if I'm having a girl or a boy. Um, we're hoping this time for, of course, a healthy baby. Uh, but my husband and I would love a boy. Just because, you know, who doesn't want the perfect pair? But I'd be just as happy with a girl. I love girls. Um, but it's just, oh, the fatigue is in. I've tried saltine crackers. I've tried soup. I've tried ginger, ginger tea. Um, just bland foods or even foods with some salt. But it's just nothing really sits right. It's kind of just like you got to push through. But this too shall pass. It's been great so far. I would say compared to my first child, this pregnancy has been a little more difficult as far as the sickness. With my first daughter, I was sick for about three, four months. And then it was smooth sailing after that. So I'm hoping the same for this one. I am taking some medication for the morning sickness but it's not helping it's not helping um doctors did prescribe it's like a, a b6 vitamin unisom 
combo. Um, I also tried that. That didn't work either. It's just nothing is really, nothing's really coming through to help uh, right now. But, you know, that's what comes with, with motherhood. And when you're one of the lucky ones to experience, you know, all of the joys that early trimester pregnancy brings, you know, I'm thankful for the entire process. Um, but yeah, if, if you're out there and, and, and you're, you know, still in your first trimester, maybe experiencing fatigue, nausea, vomiting, um, change of your sense, senses, things may not taste or smell the same, usually that does pass. Um, I got a pregnancy pillow to help me sleep. That's been helping. And of course, a supportive partner always helps as well. So I just wanted to check in with you all, um, take you on this journey with me. Um, it's It's been a wild ride so far. It's been a blessing. It's been, it's been a joyous experience so far, definitely. Um, let's see if I can think of anything else. Haven't really changed physically yet. I have not um, gained any weight. Like I said, I lost 10 pounds. Um, I'll show you my stomach. So this is my stomach right now. I might be a bit a bit bloated, um, but a little. It's kind of feeling a little hard here, um, but you know, not not too not too different right now. Um, but nothing really feels the same. I guess when your mind knows what's going on, it's kind of like your body's catching up. So my clothes are kind of fitting tighter. Um, I, I just feel the stretching going on. This baby is really, really growing and moving and developing in there. And I'm so thankful. Um, I am, I think I'm 13 weeks and six days. So I'm coming up on 14 weeks. Uh, we find out the gender at 20. So it should be exciting. I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, if you're, if you're a mother, leave some comments. Um, or suggestions below of maybe what helped you when you were experiencing morning all day sickness and just pray for me because I, I need to I need some relief I need some relief from this this is this is the hard the hard part in the beginning just trying to function trying to get up trying to put on makeup or feel pretty do your hair and you know it's it can it can be rough so but so far so good it's all worth it and we're coming up on 14 weeks so you know we're almost almost to the halfway point so thank you guys um like comment subscribe come with me on my journey and i'm excited to share everything with you all thanks thanks for tuning in